friends are. Don't worry. We are not he going to mug up the statements. But today we will see if they hold true in our daily activities. Friends, though we are not going to mug up the statements, we are going to revise the statements. Newton's first law of motion. It states that if a body at rest is at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will remain at rest or keep moving in a straight line at constant, at constant speed unless it is acted upon by a force. This postulate is known as law of inertia. Inertia is resistance in any change. It is divided into three categories. Inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. Inertia of rest. In this example, you can see that coin falls into the glass tumbler. This is because the coin which is at rest tends to be at rest due to inertia of rest. Inertia of motion. Here you can observe that I got a jerk when I stopped my scooter. This is because my body was in motion. And suddenly when I stopped, my body didn't want to so go to rest. So I had a jerk. Now let's see in a, about inertia of direction. Inertia of direction. In this video, you can see the bag still was still rotating though I stopped rotating. This is due to inertia of direction because of which bags were still move, rotate, still moving in the same direction. Friends, now let's see about Newton's second law of motion. The statement is, it defines a force to be equal to the change in momentum with a change in time. Momentum is defined to be the mass m of of an object times its velocity v. That means you can understand like if you have m and v, the product of it is momentum. Now, first example. Here, there's a karate player. He he is now he is now hitting the tiles, breaking the tiles. Did you see that? First he he was in slow momentum. First first he was in he done he was in slow momentum. Then he increased increased the momentum and he hit so the time decreased and the impact force time decreased and impact force um, increased. Now, in, in the second video, when you see the cricket player, why, why didn't he hold like this? Instead, he is holding like this. Because here is the opposite of the first example. Here, the time increases and the impact force decreases. Now, suppose if you are holding like this, it will pain. It will pain a little. If you keep it high up and try to catch it, it will hurt a lot. But when you keep it below, it will not be at all. This is because the impact force decreased. Friends, now let's see Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion defi Newton's third law defines for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Suppose, let's take this example. We have a ball. I was bouncing it down slowly. And it came to, to me slowly. But when I bounced it so, so hard, it went up till the ceiling. This is because, when, because this is because when, when I pushed it, Pushed it slowly and equal and opposite. Equal. Equal. That means it is 
same but opposite it's coming up when i pushed it down it came up but same force let's see the second example when when a swimmer see this video when the swimmer was uh, swimming he pushes it like this so this is the water backwards right? the greatest olympian of all time when he pushes he like this he pushes the water backwards in turn it's pushing him forward jokes in front of the flow we expect that the gills out hard nothing to panic that about this newton's laws of motion exist in our daily activity hope you're learning from my videos if you like them please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe and click the not bell button for getting more notifications and please share my videos to your family and friends Thank